Anna! Anna! There you are. Anna, it's already growing dark. You know how I feel about you being out at night. Grandpa, I'm fine. I was just finishing the chores around the farm. Oh, my dear. You needn't do so much. Come inside. Rest. It's fine, Grandpa. I like helping out around the house. I'm not so little anymore, you know? <sighs> yes. Quite right. Quite right. And I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe next week, instead of you, I can go sell our crops in the village? No. No. That is for me, and me alone. I'm sorry, my dear. It's just... the things that are out there. Promise me, you won't ever venture out into those woods. I... I promise. Good. Good. And when I do go, you must always remember, however near or far we may be, in our hearts, we carry our family. This is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Anna who lived with her grandfather in a deep, dark wood. He told her of all the evils that lurked outside the safety of their humble farm and warned her never to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans for the girl, but the girl had an unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. Grandpa, what have I gotten myself into? If... If only I'd have listened to you, then... No, I can't think like that. Grandpa needs me. I have to find a way to help him. That's it. I don't know how I'll do it, but no matter what, I have to find an escape. Anna? Ah! Did you say something before? Who were you talking to? Oh, uh, just talking to myself, I guess. Hmm. Well, stop it. It's weird. And come closer. I've told you a thousand times I can't hear you properly over there.
So, Anna, how are you this evening? Tired? Hungry? That's nice. Now listen carefully. The time has finally come for your experiment. Ah, exercise. Yes, exercise. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? I need you to go on and sit in it. Um, what exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh, <coughs> that is to say, come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl and sit in the chair now, hmm? Good. Very good. All right. Stay very still now, Anna. Now hop up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me, do you feel different? Somehow different in your head? Perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of, kind of, kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. Oh, curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... My what? Your telekinesis. Show it to me. Tell a what? I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry. I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right. All right. Go and pick up your spoon. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up, hold it out, and then think about nothing except the spoon bending. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. Not yet. Just looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me. Blech. Cooking is obviously not one of the witch's specialties. Concentrate on bending the spoon. All right, then. Here goes nothing. Mm. I don't believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow. Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked. It actually worked. I bent the spoon. Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. I think I've done enough to... See? Look! I really did it! 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> Finally, it's mine. All mine. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, but I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. Um, but there isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, <laughs> the day has come at last. I can't help but feel a little uneasy about this. Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. Oh no, oh no. What should I do? Ooh. Um, hello? Is someone there? Uh, hello? Ah! Ah! You can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no, shh, Anna, you gotta be quiet. Anna, who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no, what have I done? This is bad. I, I was talking to, oh. no one, just myself. Again? Anna, really? I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're distracting me. Hello? Who are you? Oh, I'm... I'm... Mm, I'm... Bear? No, wait. That's not right. Be ben? Burn? Version? Oh wait, yes! It's Ben! It's Ben! Wow, I remembered! You have trouble remembering things? Oh yeah, everything from before. I wasn't always like this. What did you mean, not always like this? Oh, I'm really like you, Anna. You're a girl? No, yuck! I'm not a girl, silly. I'm a boy. Well, I was a boy when that old woman first brought me here. So the witch, she did this to you? Turned you into a teddy bear? Uh-huh. I, I, I think something went wrong. She screamed and said witchcraft was stupid and, and I was so scared. So I just sat here and tried to stay as still and quiet as possible. Gee, Ben, that's awful. I'm sorry. How long have you been here for? Oh, I'm... I'm not really sure, but it sure feels like a long time. A very, very long time. I tell you, I was so happy when you came, Anna. Finally, a friend. Are you... Did you say you're gonna escape? Shh, not so loud. This isn't happening. What isn't happening, Anna? This. Me talking to you. Isn't it? I'm not sure. I suppose it is. I... I think it is, Anna. What were you getting so worried about before? Oh, Anna, this is bad. Why? What is she planning? Well, I'm not sure. But it's bad. It's very bad. Just look at what she's done to me. And with that power of yours, she wants to take it from you somehow. I'm sure of it. It's okay, Ben. I'm going to escape. Well, we're going to escape. I'll take you with me. <gasps> I knew it, Anna. I knew it. Oh, but, um... How are we going to escape, Anna? I'm not sure yet. I'm starting to think, though this power of mine. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. You are so clever. Yes, well, I guess I can bend spoons now, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything useful. If I could try that machine again, 
Maybe I can make it stronger and... Oh no, Anna. You can't. It's too dangerous. It's all covered in cables and lights and, and, and machine things. Okay. Okay. Let me think about this. That blue light in the headgear thing, that's what seemed to bring this telekinesis out. So then, perhaps there's a way of removing that from the rest of the machine, or perhaps there's a way of controlling it from in here? Oh, Anna, you really are so smart. Uh, but, um, how are you going to do that, Anna? I'll figure it out. So to escape, I need to... Find out if there's a way to control the machine from here? Yeah. Or at least make that blue light thing happen again. Sounds so simple. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting! On the bottom half, there seems to be more buttons and controls kind of stuff. But I can't get to them with this cover on. Hmm. On the bottom half, there seems to be more buttons and controls kind of stuff. But I can't get to them with this cover on. Hmm. He is very cute, but I think I'll leave him where he is. Locked. Mm. Nope, still locked. I don't think this power thing is strong enough. She's distracted at the moment, which is good for me, so let's keep it that way. It's not bedtime, it's escaping time. I'll just take a crayon, I think. Hmm. And some paint, too. I like paint. Yeah, that could work. Now I have a perfect half circle of rubber thing. I think I've done enough damage to it. I don't think Ben wants that. He just wants a way out. Nope, that thing stuck fast. That thing scares me enough as it is. I don't want to start imagining it talking and coming to life. I do want to see if I can use this, but not like this. I want to see if I can take control of this machine for myself first. I don't really know what it is or what it does. I think that's a pretty good reason not to touch it. Even if I did break the window open, it's still a long, long way down. I think I'll try getting through the door first. So to escape, I need to... Find out if there's a way to control the machine from here? Yeah. Or at least make that blue light thing happen again. Sounds so simple. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting!